Dear colleagues, welcome to the ASCO Plenary Series video recap for Monco Alert. This February 15th, ASCO hosted two amazing plenaries. The first of the two was an interim data from the Phase 3 aspirin after breast cancer trial presented by Dr. Wendy Chen from Dana-Farber. This trial indicated that a daily 300 milligram dose of aspirin did not reduce invasive disease-free survival in patients with high-risk HER2 negative breast cancer after disease resection. The study followed more than 3,000 patients who had invasive HER2 negative breast cancer, the median duration was 20 months, and 107 invasive disease-free survival events had occurred among those receiving aspirin compared to 84 events in those who received placebo. This yielded a stratified hazard ratio of 1.27. One of the possible reasons for the negative outcome of this trial is the fact that many patients stopped the study intervention early. What this means for patients is that in this study, aspirin did not help in the prevention of breast cancer recurrence in those who were diagnosed with the HER2 negative breast cancer and had a higher risk of recurrence. The second presentation in the plenary series constituted of new early phase data from Codebreak 100. This is a phase 1-2 trial of sotoracid monotherapy in those with KRAS D12C mutated advanced solid tumors presented by Dr. Stickler from Duke School of Medicine. This demonstrated favorable activity in those who were previously treated for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Here, a monotherapy of sotoracid showed a clinical meaningful anti-cancer activity and tolerability in heavily pretreated patients with KRAS G12C mutated advanced pancreatic cancer. The data from Codebreak is very encouraging as currently this population has poor prognosis and treatment alternatives are limited. Thus, this supports further exploration of sotoracid in this patient population. And that's just a quick recap of two exciting presentations. Kudos once again to our collaborators, the American Society of Clinical Oncology, and reminding you to join us for the next plenary on March 15, 2022.